Hello, this is Jerry Jokoy, and I'm going to be doing a review on the RMJ Tactical Akuto with 3V steel and cobalt Cerakote hyena brown color G10 scales in the handle. The 3V Syndicate Akuto push spike is a handful of mean, a 5 and 5 8 inch EDC ice pick on steroids. Each Akuto includes a leather case adorned with Oni mask art, Kydex sheath, 3V Syndicate leather patch, and a coin, along with the membership to the 3V of uh, the 3V Syndicate. And so this is my first RMJ um, product knife or anything. The overall length on this is 7.87 inches. The blade length is 5.625 inches. The blade thickness is 0.187 inches. The blade steel, 3V. The blade finish is Cerakote. The handle material is uh, G10. So, yeah, I didn't really... Um, I got this on my news feed, on my uh, email uh, from DLT. And um, I was really kind of shocked. I didn't... This is... The first I'd seen it, and so I ordered one right away. And I thought maybe I can be the first one to put this up for and give a review on it, and I think I am. So, all right, Jerry, hope y'all enjoy it. These aren't if you purchase anything from RMJ, they make some good products, and they're proud of them. They're American made though, and um, get some. I mean, this is good stuff. I really thought. I'm glad to show you this because I thought by looking at it that this and this were just two different means of carrying it. You could either choose the Kydex or the leather sheath. And I thought there were two sheaths. I thought there was this one and there was another one that looked like this. And these were about the same size as this. The leather was about the same size as this. But it's made, I'll just show you, it uh, fits. When you put it in the Kydex, um, you can store it in here and it... it um, fits in there really nice and that is nice i just thought it was another way of carrying it but it's obviously not this is um, so it's a good thing to watch these reviews because sometimes it can be a little misleading i like it um it's really uh it's very unique and the only thing i have like it right right now is like the um that i can compare it to i just did a um a review on the D-Day, um, this D-Day spike, um, and it's along the same lines as, um, uh, hellacious shank, <laughs> is basically what it is, or the, um, cold steel, I don't have mine out right now, but the cold steel, uh, urban dart, and, uh, I'm gonna do a review on that one soon, but, um, yeah, this is a, uh, it's pretty big. It's not like I was thinking. I thought this was going to be really thin up here. I didn't know it was going to be that heavy either. I thought it would be something a really good like hideout weapon. And um, really, I mean that's six ounces. That's this is that's pretty substantial in your hand. You know that's you really you really have something. And um, I thought it was going to be a lot thinner. And um, it's curved. I, I think I'm. My guess is if it's cut out on a plasma table, when it's that heat gets in there, it's going to curve. Like, same thing if you're cutting it out with a cutting torch, it'll do the same thing. That's a lot of heat. I think the only way you can get around that is like with the water jet. Uh, I don't, I'm not really familiar with using a water jet, but I have worked with the um, plasma tables, and um, that's what it would do to something like that. It doesn't really bother me. It would be kind of cool if it was perfectly straight, but hey, you know what? It doesn't make this less effective or less cool um that's my guess i don't think they did that on purpose but i'm trying to straighten that out after plasma table would be really difficult let's see you have a close-up on it I, i'm just now getting my first look at it too um good old fedex um did not deliver it to me today so i had to go pick it up and you better believe i did wasn't happy about it either but uh i got it uh, anyway, you can see it sharpened right here on the end, and um, 
because of that shape that um, that fuller running down the back it um, gives it a unique shape on the point and uh, I don't know that's just let's see try to give you some really good looks at it um, oh here we go Akuto there it and I do not know what Akuto stands for I'm interested to know what it means. I have to look into that, but um, this is, like I said, my first RMJ product. I've I've never. Um, they have some other cool things like their Warhammer, but man, I just cannot put seven hundred dollars into it. But I do see them going for uh, eight hundred on eBay and some of the special runs, like a thousand and plus. So. I'm thinking these products are going to be a pretty good investment, and uh, I'd bet on that. If they don't run these for three years, you know, there's they flood them, then you know that's going to kind of suck. But if they run a short run of them and stop, then oh yeah, honestly, if they did that, I might buy another one for the investment sake. When I get something I really like, a lot of times I will buy another one um, just for that reason, so I can have one to keep and one to use. Or one to keep and one to sell, you know. But um, I definitely don't see myself selling this. Um, DLT, they have three different versions. They have a black, uh, another one that is um, olive drab, and then this one right here that's, um, well, I said it at the first. Uh, let me see what they call it. Um, the cobalt, or the hyena brown, sorry. Hyena Brown, and that's what I chose. And I think they're out of the Olive Drab one already. And they just started selling them just a few days ago. So I'm guessing, and I only seen another company selling these, and I forget who it was. It may have been eBay. I'm not sure about that. Or a company on eBay, not eBay. Anyway, yeah, this is um, very, very unique and um, pretty cool. Um, you know, being that heavy, I don't really see myself seriously carrying this as a weapon, but, man, that is a good weapon. I mean, seriously, that is a weapon, but, um, it's just a little heavy up here, you know, for really, I don't know. If I was really going to carry this to use, I would do it because it's lightweight and, um, you know does a lot of damage but I, you know all that weight in the handle i don't know i think that would discourage me from wanting to tote that thing around it's uh, in the sheath i mean that's heavy right here i mean you, it's that's all the weight is right here you feel it i mean you don't feel anything um look at that there's i guess that's kind of the where it balances right there um so all the weight is, I guess, I don't know, it's, for a push dagger, it's kind of what it is, um, it's really not a push dagger, it's, it's more of a, um, what they call it, a shank on steroids, I mean, but, I don't know what else to say about it, this is pretty cool, and, um, I haven't had it very long, so, um, I can, oh, and I did order another one of these Ulti clips. It's, there's a thin one, and I got it just for this. And um, I'm probably going to order another Ulti clip for another knife I have that's thin. But I don't want to put something this thick on there. I got that thin one just for it, and it'll be here tomorrow or the next day. So that'll be nice. And um, I don't know. I, I can't own something like this and not try it. So, yeah, I'll probably carry it a couple of times and see how it feels. But that, I'm telling you, that's pretty heavy right there that's that's like a knife in itself that's that feels heavier than, than this knife I mean it literally is heavier than this whole knife I don't know how that's possible but it is hmm that's it doesn't seem possible but there's almost six ounces right there um that's crazy but yeah, I like it. It's that's really cool. That's a that's some good looking um, work they do, and um, 
I'm glad to have one. And like I said, um, I may end up having to invest in another one just for um, the collector's sake and possibly to resell or something. But I, I couldn't sell only one. Having one, there's just no way. This is too cool and too unique. I like it. This is going to go nice in my collection. So I hope you enjoy this review and um, I appreciate y'all's support, your subscriptions, and your. Please don't forget the thumbs up. I see that with other people too. I see thousands of views and a few thumbs up. I mean, surely you're getting something out of our reviews. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up for the effort. You know, I mean, at least do that. It, it doesn't take that much effort. If you don't like it, then sure, give it a thumbs down. But I mean, if you got something out of it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And all the other guys out there giving reviews too. I mean, for them as, as well, I see the same. It just it's like giving a tip to a waiter give your give your tip we, we really appreciate it thank you and uh, appreciate you watching y'all take care bye